हे गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल जो बॉय टेकी होप यू आर डिंग फाइन सो सैमसंग फाइनली ड्रॉप द वन यू आई थ्री पॉइंट टू ऑन दी एस टेन सीरीज एंड आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग अ वीडियो इमीडिएटली बट देन लेटर ऑन आई थॉट आई शुड वेट फॉर सम डेज एक्सपीरियंस दिस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विद ऑल ऑफ इट्स डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग्स एंड देन लेट यू नो वट आई फील अबाउट इट सो मेनी पीपल हैव दिस मिसकनसेप्शन दैट अ न्यू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम स्लोज डाउन द स्मार्टफोन एंड कट्स डाउन ऑन द बैटरी लाइफ वेल टू बी ऑनेस्ट इट्स काइंड ऑफ ट्रू but uh, you could expect that only if that particular operating system is slated to be the final update on that smartphone but samsung claimed last year that it will provide three major updates to all of its flagship smartphones instead of two which means that uh, there will be one more major update on the s10 series and this could be the stable version and they could even fix some errors in future so after you freshly install your new update you could face some uh, battery drain issues and some heating issues at that point of time but there's no need to panic because all of the apps are refreshing at the same time plus many of the apps are not compatible with the new operating system so the only solution at that point of time is to uh, wait for a week or two for the particular app to release a compatible version for that operating system so yeah getting back to the one ui 3.0 a lot of major changes were made and these are some of my favorites so first thing they've added a new design to the fingerprint unlock logo no changes have been made in the unlocking speed here and even the icons seem unchanged First you could only lock the screen from the power button but now you can double tap the screen to do so. And I think this is very useful in different situations and I recommend this to be enabled. Now when it came to widgets previously you had to hold on the home screen then select the widgets but now you can do so from the individual app itself. Although not all the apps can do that for example you can hold on the Gmail app and select widgets and add them. not all the apps support that like for example instagram doesn't have that option facebook doesn't have the option netflix yes netflix does have the option of adding widgets you can now even add widgets to your always on and lock screen to enable that go to your settings then come down to lock screen and select widgets you only get to choose these options so to view them all you need to do is double tap on the always on display then swipe down and you can do the same to view the widgets on the lock screen as well now the next highly noticeable change is when you swipe down from the notifications you'll notice they've added the blur effect in the background now if you're familiar with samsung's good lock app you could even blur it out from there as well but it's just that now it's permanent on the one ui 3.0 so yeah when you swipe down you'll notice that the media playback options are now shifted to the top and all of the conversations are now clubbed in one group and below that the normal notifications and below that the silent notifications now they've added this feature called notification history where you can view the notifications that you cleared recently so to enable that go to your settings then notifications then select advanced settings and then notification history and you can enable it from here and as you can see these are the recent notifications that i cleared in the past so this is very useful in case you missed out on something The next thing I like is the navigation settings. When you jump into the settings and get into display, the navigation bar, you'll notice that Samsung has kept the swipe from bottom navigation option, which I'm very used to. You even get the option to choose between this and the new swipe up from sides and bottom option, which you'll notice as default in most smartphones. So I'm glad that Samsung has stuck with that. Now you can even add an image or video as a background during phone calls. Just go to your contacts, then select the three dotted lines on the top. Come down to settings and open call background. Select the sim in case you have two. Then click on background and select the plus sign on the top to add an image or video from the gallery. Now in the always on display you'll notice that some changes have been made in the appearance. You can even add gifs if you want. and if you select this one then you'll get some more options in case you use the good lock app from samsung now samsung has claimed that they've improved the accuracy of the auto focus and the auto exposure of the camera now i've been using my camera over the week to shoot some of my youtube videos and i've not noticed any major changes but maybe you could notice the major changes if the camera is tested in different scenarios now the next major change is that after editing and saving your photos in the gallery you can still revert back to the original photo even after you've deleted it so that's pretty much what i like about the new one ui 3.0 there were some other minor changes made as well like for example they've added 370 more languages to the keyboard they've added some more search filters in your gallery to find photos more quickly and now you can even add up to 5 categories to your dynamic wallpaper 
Guys, do mention in the comment section what you like about this new update and do let me know if you want me to share more of my experience with the new One UI 3.0. And don't forget to hit that like button and if you found this video informative then remember to subscribe as well. Stay safe, take care of yourself till then, see you next time.